Hey everyone, Nick here. Um, wanted to make a short video talking about how to um, set up automatic authentication on a remote machine. In other words, how we can log into a given remote machine without having to type our password every time. Why do we want to do this? Well, one, it's a little more convenient, right? It doesn't take you that long to type a password, but it's a distraction. It's another step you have to take. And anything you can do to streamline your experience is going to help you being more productive as a programmer, having more fun, and so on and so forth. So it's convenient, but also it's nice if you want to do things like set up file transfers from inside a script. You don't want to embed your password in, in a script file. So um, so this is this is pretty easy to do. Um, so I've, I've got my um, virtual machine here. I've got a bogus account under the name of Bob, and I've set up a fictitious user on a remote machine, and I used a different username just to make it more interesting. So I'm Bobby on this remote machine. And if I SSH into that remote machine, I can put in my password and I log in. Okay, that's great, but let's set this up so I don't need to type the password every time. So I'm going to go back to my local machine, the machine I want to log in from, right? And I'm going to use um, SSH-keygen, that's the command I'm interested in. And it needs a few switches, dash T for type will be RSA, and dash B for block size will be 4096. And then I'm just going to take a bunch of defaults. So it wants to know where to save the files it's going to create, just hit enter. It'll ask for a passphrase, that's like an additional password that we can put on. We're not going to do that, so we'll just hit enter. And then we'll hit enter one more time to confirm that choice. We get some cool little ASCII art here, and we're all set. All right, so... Um, I'm going to go into my .ssh directory, and if I look in there, I've got a pair of files now, idrsa and idrsa.pub. This is my private key. I don't want to give this to anyone. I don't want to post it in emails, put it on machines. Keep this one secure. IDRSA pub, that we can freely share, and we're going to put that on the remote machine. The remote machine will then use this public key to figure out if we have access to the private key. If we're keeping this secure, I'm the only person who has this, so if, if I can respond correctly to this, this public key, um, the system will know that I am who I say I am. So this is an asymmetric cipher. It's a private public key pair. So to use this, all we've got to do is the following. Let's, let's go ahead and cat idrsa.pub, and make sure you don't use more, use cat. Um, and I'm going to copy this. Now you can set your terminal to copy just by highlighting. Um, but if you haven't done that, you can you can highlight the text and then go under Edit and say Copy. All right, so I'm going to log back into the remote machine, and I'll have to use my password still because I haven't set this up yet. And, you know, if I, if I do an ls, I don't see anything in here. If I do an ls-a, I'll see a few, a few hidden files. What I need is I need to create a directory called .ssh. If it doesn't already exist, I can just say make dir.ssh. And remember, this is hidden, so if I say ls, I won't see it. If I say ls-a, there it is right there. So now I can cd into .ssh. And I'm going to create a file. The file is called authorized keys. And I'm going to say a to, to go into insert mode. And I'm just going to say edit, paste, and escape, and then colon wq. So now I've got a file called authorized keys under .ssh, and it's got one line in it, which is this, this SSH line, right? And make sure it's one line, right? So I've got a single line here. If, if you do this and these come out as, you know, separate lines at the end of each one, it's not going to work. So, so be careful with your copy and paste. All right, that's all I need to do. I can log out of here, and now if I try to SSH back to Bobby at Linux, ENGRCS.com, bingo, it just lets me in automatically. And I don't need to type in my password anymore. That's really all there is to it. So um, do the SSH key gen to make your public private key. Take your IDRSA.pub. Paste that into a file called authorized keys on the remote system under the .ssh directory, and you're good to go. All right. Hope that helps. Bye.